Try and stop me hand from shaking. So excited. Maybe that's the secret elixir. Yeah, I think you'll be impressed. Lovely medieval architecture. I've searched everywhere for something like this. And you found it in my shop? I found it in your shop. I think I've possibly bought the best piece of copper in a long, long time, so. Right, I'm just off for another quest to find those hidden gems. I've got a two hour drive, so I better get going. See you there. I've just found the most beautiful village. There's a vid grenier going on here at the minute, so I've had a quick look around. There's, there's nothing much, just uh, children's toys, but there's a beautiful building there, which I'm about to show you, so let's go. This is the entrance to a very old church. Wow, what a beautiful place. I don't even know what village it is or town. I just sort of come across it by chance. But what a beautiful place. I'm glad I, I stopped and had a look around. So, right, onwards and upwards. I've got about another 40 minute drive to the uh, Brocon, so I better get cracking. I'll just get permission to do some filming inside. I'll ask first. Right, in I go. I've got the place all to myself. And the kind gentleman has said I can film, so thank you very much. Mercy. <laughs> Where do I start? It's a beautiful shop. So much stuff in here. I've bought quite a lot of stuff out of here in the past, so I'm gonna have to have a good rummage. Right. I've found quite a lot of stuff here before. There's literally stuff hidden everywhere. Under tables. Too beaten up. Just goes on and on and on. Now the trouble with filming and looking at the same time, I miss things, so I have to do a bit of both. Oh, sweet. Yep. That's a lovely mirror. Mm. Let's see if I can see a profit in it. <laughs> no. Lots of lovely lights. There's just about everything you'd want to find in here. Lots of copper, brass, ceramics. Furniture. It's one of my favourites, this one. Wow, look at that armoire. What a beautiful piece that is. Got a carving on it. That's beautiful. There you go, 950. Last forever, that. These are very unusual. And stylish. Now Murano. We'll have a look at that one. Got to look where I'm going. Right. Wow. It's full to the brim. Beautiful clocks there. Now dead ahead is where the copper is, so that's where I'm heading. Lots of furniture, some hand tools. I'll have a look through them later. I need some hand tools. Okay. Just trying to stop myself from running. <laughs> I found the honey hole in the corner. So, switch off and have a route round. Even when you come to a, a good brocon like this, it's still difficult to find just the right stock for your shop. 
that's what I'm doing. Trying to gear up before Christmas. I like to have a, a full shop just before the run up to Christmas, so yeah. You've literally got to look everywhere underneath stuff it's not in any particular order so yeah it's a lovely oil painting Ooh. 600 beautiful and like you got stuff like this mixed in with it very random but that's part of the excitement is hunting for it all you know if it was all laid out in order good stuff at the front <laughs> what would be the fun in that I mean, look at this what a way to spend your day try to stop my hand from shaking <laughs> so excited <laughs> right let's carry on Ooh, look at that seeing what we can find it's unusual the brass, not too bad, 60, not for me. It's a nice one for all those music lovers out there, what they call a stave. There's all sorts of eras, genre, this beautiful cabinet. And you have it next to something like this. Still not found anything yet. Yikes. There's lots of stuff here, but nothing jumping out at me at the moment. Ah. That'd stop me losing my front door key. Size of that. Imagine the door it fits in. The quest continues. Nice bronze mirror. Just rip puce means the that's brass, it's punched out from behind, pressed out. It's a nice mirror, damaged. Okay, so I fancy a little snifter. Oh, that'd wake me up, wouldn't it? Might find something then. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret elixir. That's a nice freeze. Well, at least I'll get the chance to show all my lovely viewers lots of different things. I hope I'm going slow enough. I'll try and talk you through as much as I can with it. A bit of glass. That's your, what they call like splash vase. Fruit bowl. Quite common. Cut glass crystal. Looks English. Hobnail cut, all hand engraved on a on a wheel. That is a serious art in itself. Out of fashion though. 40 euros. Certainly wouldn't like to make it for that. Little bobbing bobbing reel chair, you can see here. Little corner chair. I think that's for an artist. Sculptor. All sorts here. Really is. I think I found a drinks tray big enough for me. 
Right, I've just come outside to have a, a little browse about. It's a bit more rustic outside, but I've found stuff out here before. Sometimes the, uh, there's like a little scrap pile with some ironwork in it, so I shall have a look. I recognise that light. Put one in my boot room. Right, let's carry on searching. It's an unusual inkwell. Got its original liner in it. Glass liner. Now yeah, that's where the ink went. Lovely. One hundred and sixty euros. Yeah, one hundred and forty. Okay. So I did find something. I just done a deal on a beautiful bronze Dormaloo light. How about that? Ain't that a cracker? Beautiful glass. That look lovely. Up in someone's hall. So I shall dismantle that, put it safely, and I'll see you back at home. Right, I've made a slight detour on the way home. Um, now we're coming into Saint Suzanne, which is a medieval historic town. It really is worth the detour, so I'm going to park up the top and have a walk around and show you the sights and sounds of St. Suzanne. Right, short walk. And, uh, yeah, I think you'll be impressed. Lovely medieval architecture. What more can you ask for? Brocant hunting, antiques and architecture. I might even squeeze in a little drink and a cake. Well, it's very busy. A beautiful stained glass window. So this is the start of it. That's the fortified medieval wall that goes around the town. And here we have a beautiful memorial to all those that fell in the wars. So I've just found a beautiful brocante antique shop. I'm just going to go in and see what I can find. Well, some beautiful things here. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello. Is it okay to look round? Of course. Thank you. I'm cheating a little bit. I came in earlier and I've purchased this. <laughs> that is Sun Find. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. Wow. And it's marked up. And you think the CGT is? Compagnie Générale Transatlantique for the boats, for the big boats. Ah, so it's come off the boats? I think so. Yeah. Perfect. Wow, this really is a great shop. <laughs> I've searched everywhere for something like this. <laughs> and you found it in my shop? I found it in your shop. <laughs> Be sure to come everybody, it's lovely. Right, I'll just have a little scout around. Lots of great things here. 
a good mixture. And it's set in a beautiful building. Right, let's see what's in here. Beautiful. Lots of lighting, lots of bronze figures. This one's spectacular. Wow. Something for everybody here. I shall be returning back here without a doubt. Right, let's get that lovely piece of copper in my car. You're never far from a church in France. It's a bit difficult to film because there's lots of people about, so I've got to try and be respectful. But anyway, there's plenty to see. A fairy tale chateau indeed. So I'm just in the beautiful grounds and they've got an art exhibition on. But uh, my eye is on the vista really. Don't know whether my camera or my phone is doing it justice, but it's stunning here. Absolutely beautiful. Very medieval. In a nice way, really well looked after, beautiful grounds, what a stunning chateau. There's so much that keeps distracting me, <laughs> so many little warrens and alleyways. Right, this looks interesting, a much later built property, 1784. Let's go and have a look. That's pretty. Very architectural. Is it a wishing well? Ooh. Might have been once. Parked in front of the most beautiful orangery. Right, I've got an hour's drive, it's been a long day, it's been a good day, I'm having to go further and further afield to find the bargains, but I'm still finding them, and I think I've possibly bought the best piece of copper in a long, long time, so I'm keen to get home and have a look at that, a bit more in, in depth, so, right, I'm off, see you there. Shall we take a look in the boot, see what I've got? Here goes. Wow. Lovely. Let's have a closer look on the inspection bench. This one's heavy. This will straighten me back up. This is the star of the show. Look at that. Now, this piece, I understand, it's got a bit of history with it. The gentleman in the antique shop explained there's a stamp on here CGT and what that is that's a very early stamp pre I think 1900 it was a shipping line transatlantic shipping line that went to America or the Americas and this served in their kitchens so it was on a very prestigious vessel French vessel going backwards and forwards to the Americas so don't think this one's going to make my shop I think I'm going to keep this one it's absolutely beautiful. It weighs a ton. I'm going to weigh it in a minute. Now, I've got this beautiful light as well. Now I'm toying with the idea whether to keep this one and put it in my boot room. We're going to have a look in a moment. And I'll show you the other one I've got. I think this one is a bit more in keeping 
with my wall lights so we may have a little shuffle around again lovely find in a different shop it took me about an hour to find this it was buried but if you persevere you do find them so yeah busy day fruitful day and I got myself some lovely pieces always get lids uh, graduated combination lids they always go with uh, pots that are acquire along the way and uh, yeah the Hillerin that's another good one and it's got a stamp on it that one's got my initials on it SC and a little crown on there for the king of course <laughs> so yeah a nice little haul I shall clean this one up with great pleasure Wow, 13 kilos. Woo. That's heavy. Right, and this is the hall light in my boot room that I was thinking of using. Now I'm in two minds. As nice as it is, I'd like it to match the style of these. So they're in bronze as well. I have another one down that end. They've got to be wired up shortly. So I think my new addition is going to replace that one, I think. We'll see. I do like this one. You know, it's got some beautiful stained glass in it. But the issue I've got with this one, it's it's about six and a half foot to the bottom of there. And when you're coming through the door, taking your coats off and your hats, I don't want to knock it, so I think this one I'm going to have wired up outside. I'm going to have a glass canopy over the French doors here outside. I'll show you the, uh, the bracket tree I'm going to use for that. Paint it all the same colour, and I think that will be best suited outside. Let's have a look at those brackets. Now, I featured these quite a few months ago, really. Still haven't got round to doing it. But uh, I do plan to do it. There. And what they are, are beautiful ornate cantilever brackets. One each side of the door. And then that square goes on the top, all glazed up. All nicely painted black to match the soon-to-be exterior lantern. So I'll just go and show you where I plan to put them. I plan to put it above this door here. So while you're standing at the door unlocking it you know doing the things you do you don't get soaked and it also protects the door a little bit and it'll be a great feature i will also be replacing that window there shortly i'm about to order it have it delivered and then i'll uh i'll film myself putting that in as well so that's something to something to think about as well for me yeah I'm not going to get any more years out of this one. I've filled it and painted it. Now it's time to go. I can't open that window, so I need a bit more ventilation in that room. So I definitely need a new window. So that one will be coming out rather shortly. So I think you'll agree that, that is in better keeping with each other than the black cast iron one. So. Let me know what you think. I think you'll agree. This one goes better. Great ups. That's it about. Yeah, they look brilliant. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've started to get out and about a bit more now, which is always good. See some lovely buildings. So if you like, don't forget to subscribe hit that bell uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to all those supporters that do it via buy me a coffee um, they make a small donation if you want to support the channel me and my escapades that's much appreciated so uh, yeah thanks thanks once again stay tuned for many more videos in the pipeline so uh, yeah no further ado I'm gonna have my tea thank you very much <laughs>